Dehydration reactions can be used to turn small carbohydrates into larger carbohydrates. When an OH or a hydroxyl group is re removed from one reacting molecule and a hydrogen from another reacting molecule, water is formed and thus water is removed from the reacting pair. If this occurs in two monosaccharides, they then form sticky ends where the OH and H were removed. These sticky ends can then be joined to form a disaccharide. So a dehydration reaction can unite two monosaccharides to form a disaccharide. Dehydration reactions also can unite separate amino acids to form peptides and ultimately proteins. Each amino acid has an amino group and an acid group attached to a central carbon. The central carbon is also attached to a hydrogen and to a variable group which varies in the 20 different amino acids. However, it is these amino and carboxylic acid groups which give these molecules their name, amino acids. When a dehydration reaction occurs between two amino acids, the OH is removed from one amino acid's acid group and a hydrogen is removed from the amino group of the second amino acid. Water is removed and then these two amino acids are left with sticky ends which then combine. This bond is known as a peptide bond which forms between the two amino acids when they join to form a dipeptide. Three separate dehydration reactions occur in the formation of a triglyceride. A triglyceride is composed of a three carbon molecule known as glycerol and three fatty acids. Three separate dehydration reactions combine these to form a triglyceride molecule.